Good morning, everybody. It's Barb Katie. I hope your money, Monday is as sunny and bright as mine is and that all is doing well in your world. Uh, it certainly is here in mine in West Virginia. Fall is in the air and it's always so exciting. It is my very favorite season and I always look forward to uh, fall coming. Uh, the trees are turning colors. They won't pink until, oh, maybe three weeks from now, but they are beginning to reveal all the brilliant colors that I love so much in the calico quilts that cover the hills where I live. Uh, what I'd like to chat with you a little bit about today is uh, something that happened over the weekend that gave me pause and uh, gave uh, me reason to reflect a little bit. Uh, I was with a bunch of friends that I actually have grown up with uh, from my small hometown because we're planning an all-class reunion for my high school uh, to coincide with railroad days here in my small community. Uh, that uh, was where some of my longest time friends still live and uh, I get to go back there and revisit uh, favorite places from the past. And I hope that's something you're able to do as well, because there's such a rich history in friends from uh, a long time when you all get together and get a chance to talk. And one of the things we were chatting about was that saying that all of us, uh, after we reach the age of 50, have probably said at least once, probably more than once, if I had known I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. And uh, since uh, all of us in the group uh, that were chatting were in that category of people, we were sharing with each other the 2020 vision of hindsight, how looking back, we can see where we could have chosen a different direction to take. And we were looking back to try to ferret out the lessons we have learned to uh, here and now in the place we are from that time to the present. And there are many lessons that we have learned that allowed us to do different, to grow, to move forward in different ways than we had originally attend, intended to do when we were in high school together those many years ago. Uh, and it was really interesting to see what lessons we had learned. And that really got me to thinking about what other life lessons I bring to the table today uh, for myself and all those around me. Um, you know, all of us have life lessons. And while we don't want to drag forward the excess baggage of our past, we would certainly be foolhardy hardy to not bring forward the lessons and the wisdom that we have accumulated from the experience that we have had in our life journey up to this point. And so I got to thinking, okay, Right now, it's probably a good time to do a little, little reassessing. I like to do that whenever the seasons change. It's just sort of like I check in with myself uh, during the year to see where I am and to see if I need to readjust or realign my focus and my energies and efforts. And I ask myself four questions over the weekend. And the first question was, uh, Right now, where I am, doing what I do uh, to move forward, what do I need to stop? And I got out pencil and paper as I was uh, thinking about these things. Then I jotted down uh, just one or two things uh, that I really thought I need to stop. Uh, procrastinating was one of the ones at the top of the list uh, because I think all of us from time to time sometimes procrastinate and put things off we know we should be doing uh, until whenever. Uh, usually there's not 
a particularly good reason to put some of the things off that we tend to put off. We just probably in the back of our minds really don't want to do it all that much. Uh, sort of like cleaning out the closet in the back bedroom. I really don't want to go in there, but it's something that needs to be done. And while it's not a top priority item, uh, it is representative of the fact that I do procrastinate about it instead of taking a day and just getting it done and out of the way. Uh, so that was the first thing I asked myself is, what do I need to stop? And that answer was, uh, stop procrastinating. And there were more significant things about which uh, there are more serious consequences uh, that I need to stop procrastinating about as well. And then the next question I asked myself once I determined what I needed to stop was, what do I need to start? That was a harder question for me. What do I need to start right now that would make an impact or a difference in my life? What is it that I need to start? And I got to thinking and I thought, oh my goodness, I know what that is because it is one thing with which I struggle. Uh, it's journaling. Uh, I am not naturally someone who journals. I tend to be a person that lives in the moment and doesn't jot down a lot of things. And believe it or not, I don't remember everything. Uh, I'm not like Bullwinkle the Moose, who remembered every single thing he ever ate his entire life. Uh, and I have found that if I don't journal, my memory sometimes plays tricks with me about exactly what uh, transpired, uh, be it in whatever area. And just making little notes throughout the day uh, can help me in remembering significant things that I made note of in the moment, but then as my life filled with more activities, experiences, and adventures, it faded into the background. Uh, that would be so helpful in so many areas of my life because you want to hold on and to and treasure significant moments. And journaling is a wonderful way of making sure that those memories are always retrievable. Um, my mind sometimes gets so full, I don't know if yours does or not, uh, but it gets almost on information overload and it's like, I can't put another thought in there, it's already full. Uh, so what am I going to dump out? I don't want to dump out anything. Well, okay, uh, but what do I need to start doing to help myself have uh, a better recall, a better retention, a be better accuracy in what I think I saw, think I ate, think I heard, whatever. Uh, journaling is a tool that I need to start. So that was number two. Uh, number three was, what do I need less of? Hmm. That was one that several different things came through my mind. Uh, first of all, uh, I thought I need less of busy work. Um, I don't need to just be doing something to be doing something. Uh, I find busy work sometimes gets in the way actually, and you can often streamline procedures uh, in, a, in a way that makes your life simpler and much more productive uh, if you don't fill it every moment with something to be done. Sometimes not having anything to do is a wonderful thing. And maybe I can look at critically the things I do in the course of every single day uh, and simplify my life to some degree. Uh, so that I am doing less busy work and I have more time to do things that are more productive, more helpful, more beneficial to not just me, but to those around me and to the mission that I want to accomplish in that particular moment. So I thought, okay, that's a good question. What do I need less of? And I need less busy work. 
So I had an answer to that one. And then the last one was, what do I need more of? And I thought about all the things in the world that I could have more of. Do I have, do I need more money? Not really. I can pay my bills, which is wonderful. Um, doesn't mean I get everything I want all the time, but it means I have enough to manage and to do okay. Um, I could do the things that I actually need more of are intangible. Um, that's a little harder to grab hold of because I don't need more food. Uh, I don't need more drink. I don't need more things. I don't need more money. I don't need all of those physical things. So I am truly blessed in that way. But I can use more of intangible things. I could use more love. Especially during these COVID times. Uh, I can I could certainly use more contact with fellow human beings about whom I care so deeply uh, because this has proved my biggest challenge. Uh, so that was important for me to realize. And then I thought, actually, what I could use more of is joy and laughter. I really love to enjoy life. I love to laugh. I love to find the happiness in those around me and to experience it with them. It is that that I need more of. A good belly laugh does so much for your soul. It just absolutely is one of the most cleansing, relieving feelings there is that I could use more of. And so those were my four questions that I asked myself. And then I got to thinking, okay, I've answered these four questions that I sort of know uh, what they are. I have them clearly in my mind. And so I got to thinking, okay, if I were talking to me that is to come in the next decade or two, like I was reflecting on the me that was and the 2020 vision I had in hindsight of what I would have told the me today. I would say, simplify your life. Pick one thing. Make it very small and focus on it for today. And do that. Just do that today. Tomorrow, you can do the same thing over again. Pick one thing, make it small, and focus on that. And each day, put it away. Doesn't mean you can't bring it back out another time. Just means do the best you can today with whatever your area of focus is that you have determined to be the most important thing and let other things fade into the background and devote your energies, which are limited. You do not have endless, abundant, continuously growing energy. You have a finite amount of energy every day to devote to your life. So pick the most important thing that you can focus on, auger into, and do it to the best of your ability today. And within that framework, think to yourself, okay, I am doing this today because it will matter most tomorrow. I'm not living in tomorrow. I'm not waiting for tomorrow to live, but this will make an impact in my life today that will carry forward. 
using the lessons I've learned from my past about what really is important and what matters most, this is where I'm going to focus my energy. I think in simplifying my life, my life will actually get even better than it is right now. And it's pretty darn good now because I have such a wonderful, warm, caring network of friends and family, including you all in that, uh, that empower my daily life and excite me about tomorrow. I know that my past has educated me from the life experiences I've had. My present empowers me to do my best with every single day. And it makes me excited about the sun coming up tomorrow. So everybody, go out there, empower yourself, live your best life today, because there's no guarantee that tomorrow's going to come and yesterday's gone. So today is your best chance at living your best life. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get ready here in a few minutes, and I'm going to go over to see the members of my chapter, and I'm really excited about that. So you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.